video number 13, alluding by Otto and J. What is the crime of alluding by Otto? Any person operating a motor vehicle on the public roads of New Jersey who has been signaled to pull over or stop by a law enforcement officer who essentially ignores that order to pull over and proceeds is guilty of the crime of eluding. Also a person who pulls over momentarily and then takes off uh, before the officer can get up to the window and uh, ask for your license and insurance ID card and registration, that person also has committed the crime of eluding by auto. Uh, eluding by auto is a very, very serious offense. I've handled a bunch of them and um, essentially it's a third degree offense by statute uh, unless you put others at risk of death or harm around you and then it becomes a second degree offense. Um, the significance of that is that a second degree offense has a presumption of incarceration attached to it on sentencing minimum five years prison, maximum ten years prison presumptive seven, then you argue the aggravating and mitigating circumstances or factors to determine the actual jail sentence or the length of the jail term. Um, again, this is very, very serious stuff. People say to me, Mr. Grad, if I uh, retain you to handle one of these cases, what can you do for me? Well, I can only tell you by example. I've had a handful of them that I've been able to get people uh, no jail time on, although oftentimes they have to take a third degree felony or some, I've had a few that got into PTI, but the gist of this is there are a number of subsequent cases like State versus Abdel Razek that have uh, essentially made even putting yourself at risk of harm or, uh, or death enough to make the crime second degree, so it's essentially always charged as a second degree. The struggle in these cases is to get the client a no jail sentence. Uh, one of the examples that I can give you is I represented someone who had gone through a Garden State Parkway uh, uh, toll booth on a motorcycle at about 100 miles an hour and never stopped. Uh, he was uh, chased by police, never stopped. They found him the next day at his house, arrested him, took him into custody. Turned out to be uh, a young man with uh, a wife and, a, and a, an infant under a year old, had a job, had a prior criminal record, but had been hanging around with, you know, gang type people in Newark. Um, long story short, I was able to get him a no jail deal on sentencing, even though he had to plead to a third degree of uh, crime, uh, down from second degree. Uh, an interesting and humorous aside, I found out later that the judge who heard the case owned a motorcycle. <laughs> he was a motorcycle rider himself. That does not excuse anything, it's just a humorous uh, side uh, part of the story. But at any rate, uh, these are very serious cases and if you are charged with looting by auto or you know anybody who is, they definitely need a lawyer and they're definitely looking at, at the pen potential for a long jail term on a serious felony. So here's my information once again. If you're charged with this offense, please contact me. The initial consultation is free. But of course, if you want me to represent you, I will have to charge you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.